This video shows some of the hidden features of WhatsApp and how to use them very quickly. It also covers a few things that users of WhatsApp must know. Please like our videos, subscribe our channel, click on bell icon, select all for timely updates. Usually, if you want to send a picture to a group or someone, you have to open the chat window, click the camera button and send the picture. It's a lengthy procedure. Another option, takes a photo with the mobile camera first, then share it with whoever wants it. Have you ever wondered if it would have been easier to send it this way? Recently, WhatsApp gave us the widget to take a quick photo and send it. A new window will open if you hold the WhatsApp icon. Click on the widget icon on the lower right side of this window. Here you can see three default widgets of the WhatsApp. Just hold and drag the camera widget to the home screen. Some mobiles hold the home screen instead of holding the WhatsApp icon to open the widgets. WhatsApp icon must have on the home screen of your mobile when you hold. Otherwise, it will not show the WhatsApp widgets. Hold the widget and drag wherever you want to place. Click this widget. It will open the camera directly. Take the photo. Click the send button. Now your WhatsApp window will open itself. Here you can select one or more WhatsApp users or a group and send this photo direct. WhatsApp also give you a widget to view all the new messages on home screen of your mobile phone without open the WhatsApp. Follow the same procedure as before to bring this widget to the home screen. Now you can see all the new WhatsApp messages on your home screen without open your WhatsApp. Scroll down to view all the messages. Click here to open the WhatsApp if you want. Hold your finger over the widget to adjust the size. WhatsApp also provides an option for instant contact with one or more WhatsApp profile that you are always contacting. It's called add a shortcut. The advantage of shortcuts that we can open that person's all group chat windows from the home screen every time. Now we will see how to add a shortcut. Open the chat window of someone that you need to contact always. Click on the three dots on the top right side. Tap on more and click on add shortcut. Now you can see the option add to home screen. Once you have clicked add automatic, a shortcut will appear on your mobile screen. The another option you can drag and drop a shortcut to your home screen. This way you can add as many shortcuts as you want. And you can even make a shortcut for WhatsApp group. Two-step verification is a extra security provided by WhatsApp. Importance of this, no one else can create a WhatsApp account without your PIN, even if they get your SIM card. Let's see how to enable this option. Click on the three dots in the upper right corner of WhatsApp. Then click on settings, tap on account, click on two-step verification. Here you can see enable two-step verification, enter six digit PIN that you wish to use and enter the same number again to confirm. Enter your email ID and reconfirm. Don't skip this step. This is an option for you to reset the pin in case if you forget for some reason. It's done. That's all for your two-step verification. If you want, you can change your pin number or email ID or you can enable or disable this feature at any time. How to change your WhatsApp number without losing any chat history. Click on the three dots in the upper right corner of WhatsApp. Then click on settings. Tap on account. Click on change number in this window. Then click next. In the first column here, type your current number. And type your new number in the second column. Then click next. It will ask you whether you want to send a notification to everyone. If you click on yes, then everyone will be notified. If you click on no, then no one will be notified. If you don't want your mobile gallery to display any of the media files that you receive on WhatsApp, here you can hide all media files that you receive on WhatsApp or you can select individual people. This picture seen in the gallery here are from WhatsApp.
Let's see how we can hide it. Click on WhatsApp settings. A new window will open. Tap on the chat. Here you can see media visibility in the chat settings. Click on it. Now no WhatsApp media will be displayed in your gallery. Take a look at our gallery. There is no new media files, but we have received a media file in our WhatsApp. If you want to hide media from a person or group, open their chat window. Click on their name. A new window will open. Here you can see media visibility. Click on it and select no. From now on, the media files from this person will not be displayed in your media gallery. Someone messaged you up and you read it, but you thought that you could reply later, but you forgot to reply. Did you face this issue? There is an option to pin WhatsApp users. If you pin any contacts, we can see those contacts are always at the top when we open the WhatsApp until it's get unpinned. Hold your finger on the user that you want to pin. Now you can see the pin icon at the top of this page. Click on it. Now you can see a pin icon attached with the contact. This means no matter, this user will be always stay on top of this page until you unpin. Even if you receive a new message. You can pin one or more people or a group. If you want to unpin, hold your finger on contact and click on the unpin icon top of this page. WhatsApp has an option to view all media files, documents, links sent by someone a long time ago. All these files can be viewed without looking at the entire chat history of that person. How can we do that? Open that person's chat window. Now click on the person's name. Another window will open. Click on media link and documents. Once you click on it, you will see all the media files, documents and links that you have sent and received till now. From here you can delete, share, whatever you want. How we can separate and delete files in WhatsApp like all text messages, contacts, location details, photos, stickers, GIFs, video files, audio messages and documents that you have sent or received from a group or a user. How can we do that? Click on WhatsApp settings, select data and storage usage. In the next window, click on the storage usage option. Now you can see all of your WhatsApp users here in terms of memory they used. Select a user from this list. Here you can see all the details. Similarly, you can see how much memory each category used. Click on free up space at the lower right corner. Click on the checkbox on the left if you want to delete any of this from the list. Then click on delete items at the bottom right. All the items you selected will be deleted. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel.